friends and family of five MSU students are holding vigil this afternoon, praying their loved ones will recover after their run-ins with the shooter. Those five students have been listed in critical condition. Rod Maloney is outside Sparrow Hospital where those shooting victims are being cared for tonight. Rod. Yeah, good evening, Kimberly. You know, uh, the, the interim president of MSU visited the hospital this morning, we were told by the hospital. Now, uh, we'll take a few years back, Boston Strong, then Oxford Strong, and now take a look behind me here, and we have Spartan Strong. That's the sign right across the street here from Sparrow Hospital, which, by the way, is located, as you can see, the state capitol is straight down the street here on East Michigan Avenue. And then we take a swing around here, and this is Sparrow Hospital, where the five students remain in varying degrees of co critical condition. Uh, and so we've also understood that one of the students didn't have to go through surgery and was brought into the ICU directly. But uh, one of the people who we've heard from today, and to give you an idea, I mean, you heard the interim president of MSU sobbing there. Well, it doesn't happen very often that you see the director of a hospital do the same, but that's exactly what happened this morning to Dr. Denny Martin, who is also the interim president and chief medical officer here at Spectrum. Let's hear from him in terms of what he had to say this morning about how all of this went together in terms of getting these five students who needed it so desperately the critical care that they received. I want to thank the overwhelming uh, response from our, our team. Um, everyone uh, in our level one trauma center this is you know something we've talked about this morning that we uh, that we practice for um, very often but never want to have to do um, and we uh, we did it amazingly well and um, very proud of everyone now i've been on the phone to the hospital here a couple of times today one of the things they stressed is what they called compassionate care that was being delivered to the families they are here they're being tended to and uh, they're making sure that the families are as comfortable as they can possibly make them but in the meantime he also talked about the fact that the entirety of the hospital we're talking the trauma department the emergency department the anesthesia department uh, cardio thoracic surgeons, neurosurgeons, the radiology department, even public safety, many of them had gone home for the day. And as soon as the alert went out that they had this problem, he said that all of those people came right back as soon as they possibly could to help to make sure that they gave the students here the best possible care that they received. And so we'll wait to hear more about how these recoveries happen. Gunshots are very long and difficult recoveries, so it's going to be a long, long slog for these families. And they're doing the best they can here at the hospital to make sure they get what they need. Reporting live from Lansing, Rod Maloney. Yeah. Back to you. Okay, Rod, thank you.